When I was in high school, I wanted to be a wildlife biologist. When I was in high school, I wanted to be a foster care case manager. Modern manufacturing is a high-tech process that requires strict tolerances and great attention to detail to create parts and vital components for aerospace, automotive, electronics, and many other industries. Machining shapes those parts by removing unwanted material in processes such as turning and milling. Machinists are the technicians who program and operate machining equipment. But today's manufacturing requires more than machines and people to run them. There is also a team of professionals who manage production and keep everything flowing smoothly. I'm Mitch. I'm a turning lead at Pequot Tool and Manufacturing. Pequot Tool and Manufacturing is one of Minnesota's leading job shops for precision custom machined components and assemblies. Pequot Tool employs more than 170 people at its headquarters just north of Pequot Lakes, creating high quality components for customers throughout the country. I'm a machinist and a leader. I run parts and I help people move along and I keep workflow going. No, honestly, I didn't even think about machining as a career when I was younger. I grew up in a town called Eagle Bend, a small farming community about an hour southwest of Brainerd. I work with computers, but this isn't a desk job. A lot of hands-on work, especially setups. You're tearing out tooling, you're tearing out holders, putting in different jaws, different chucks. I came in at the lowest entry level as you can get here, and I uh, worked my way up. I learned as much as I could and did what I could to get where I am today. I work four 10-hour days, so I have a nice long weekend, and since I work 2 to 12.30, I get to sleep in every day. So first thing I'll do is I'll go in and I'll kind of catch up with all the day shift guys on their machines, see if they have any quality issues going on. I'll talk to the day shift leads, see, see what the plan is for the night, and then uh, get with my guys, kind of go over with them, make sure they understand what's going on, and go from there. Some people, you know, just want to run production, that's great. But, you know, there's guys that are in leadership and upper management that, you know, are kind of behind the scenes making sure the processes are right and making sure the programming's right and making sure that the prints are all right. That's one of the nice things about being in leadership is you work a lot with the engineers and your quality management and stuff like that. You get a different side of, all right, well, this is why we're doing things and this is why we're processing the part like this rather than just setting up and running the parts. Mitch is in his second supervisory role, so this is the second promotion he's gone through. Um, and what we do with Mitch and a lot of the other leaders here is we do continued leadership education and training. We either bring in trainers to develop those skills or we send them out to outside training to make sure that they have the tools that they need to be a leader in the position. Running a successful company like Pequot Tool takes more than machinists and supervisors. From sales and accounting to engineering, quality control, and assembly, there are many career opportunities in manufacturing, and someone has to keep everything organized and on schedule. I'm Danielle, and I'm a production scheduler at Pequot Tool and Manufacturing. As a production scheduler, we deal with quoting, we deal with sales, we deal with the people on the floor, so you really need to make some relationships and get to know everybody in order to you know, work efficiently. When I started, I didn't know anything about manufacturing or production scheduling. Um, it was mostly just having my coworkers teach me along the way and really take me under their wing. I like that every day it makes me learn and think about things a little differently. Everything is always changing in scheduling, so you have to look at things from a lot of different angles. The majority of my work is on the computer uh, through our scheduling system and that's where I spend most of my day. I think it's really interesting to see a job come in where it's basically just an order. You have a piece of paper and then at the end you have made parts that will function somehow with this customer and meet their needs as well. So you see it really from beginning to end, which is pretty neat. I grew up here in Jenkins. I like being in the community that I grew up in, close to home. You really get to meet a lot of the people around here. Here in Minnesota, there are over 20,000 manufacturing and machining jobs, and the demand for qualified machine trades workers is projected to grow by 5% in the next six years. The manufacturing career ladder starts with entry level or apprentice workers, then come milling, turning, and CNC machine operators. 
lead technicians have more training and experience, and farther up the career ladder are programmers and production supervisors. Anybody can work here, uh, as long as you've got the attitude and the aptitude. Um, we're looking for people with a positive attitude, who are motivated and interested in learning new things. And with that aptitude, we will give you the tools to progress through a career here. When I started at Pequot Tool, I came in as an entry-level machinist, and then I was a cell lead. Uh, after that, I was a shift lead, and eventually I'd like to be a throughput manager. You can get your start in manufacturing right out of high school, but workers with some formal training tend to move up the career ladder faster. Central Lakes College offers certificate and diploma programs in machine tool technology at its Staples campus. Depending on which program you choose, you can complete your training in just one or two years and be on your way to a rewarding career. You may even be eligible for scholarships to help pay for your studies. A successful candidate really needs some real basics, good attitude and attendance. The rest will be skills we can teach and gain. If you enjoy some of the hands-on type tasks where you learn in the doing part, not so much out of the book, this is a great career for that. Central Lakes College gives you a strong foundation to start your career in the manufacturing field. As a high school student, it is important to start preparing now for your future career. Ask your school counselor about courses and other opportunities that will help you learn more about careers in manufacturing. Getting started in a career at Pequot Tool is as simple as submitting your application. Without any experience, you'll start at the bottom rung, but there is only up to go from there. We're looking for those who are maybe mechanically inclined um, for our shop positions. Um, if you're technical, if you like to work with your hands, if you like to look at puzzles and figure out how they work spatially, you would be very successful in this role. Choosing a career and educational path after high school is one of the most important decisions you can make. In a time of life where there are more questions than answers, the Bridges Career Academies and Workplace Connection provides information about education and career pathways and gives you the tools you need to make a smart choice. One that's right for you and right for your future. To learn more, visit BridgesConnection.org.